hey guys welcome back to my channel guys i had to come here and talk about this what laima is going through in the hands of jared and Ampumi. guys these people i don't understand the type of game jared plays and i feel so sorry for Liema because in case you have not heard that was her sitting right there and behind her in the jacuzzi was jared and Ampumi full on making out in each other's arms kissing back and forth you know how at first she tried to kind of like look away and just go ahead and do her thing but guys it was too loud what they were doing was too loud to ignore such that the rest of the housemates they even weighed in on it so before i go into the full video if you haven't subscribed to my channel here's your cue little red button bottom right and please please give this video a thumbs up so that more people can see it so guys back to the gist jared impumi and laima will not let us be like the drama is too much by the way let's just give it give a shout out to laima like she this show is forcing her into maturity it's just forcing her to just you know man up or woman up as the case may be so jared and um Mpumi. in fact matter of fact it was jared that called her and was like oh what about the jacuzzi we said we're going to go to the jacuzzi and of course trust Mpumi. Mpumi is always out for any drama and that's how Mpumi too dived into it both of them wearing red jared with his red scarf you know that it was properly scripted well thought out for valentine's and both of them in the swim in the jacuzzi they began like proper making out like it was i couldn't believe it like the things that laima literally has to put up with so anyways she was there she tried to keep her composure she looked back the housemates could see what was happening this is else else came to give her a hug like people are just even trying to because what it what she's going through is like a lot like else literally told her because at some point else sat down with her and else told her that I can understand what is happening, but if this guy cares about you, he's not, he won't do what he's doing. That I know that is hard for you because this is not the outside world where you can walk away. He's literally there when you wake up, when you sleep, you have lunch together. So it's really difficult to kind of just, you know, push him aside, but it is what it is. You just literally need to know that this guy, he does not care about you. That truthfully, I liked him as well when I first came into the house, but I stepped back because I respected what you guys had. But trust me, I don't think he's worth it at all. So she also sat with Mac Jr. and um, Taki, who also tried to win on the situation as well. Guys, like, I don't think you understand. This was her, like, turning her head to just watch them making out like the thing was just so crazy she tried to keep up keep her composure like i said at some point she got up to go and play with um and what's his name sinaye and um mali that they were playing together you could tell that she was just doing her best like okay let me just keep it together and try and have fun but it, it was very obvious that this was a really really uncomfortable um situation for her and then eventually she went to go and sit down with um um papa uh why do i keep forgetting his name um head of house mac jr and tacky and obviously mac jr did not mean his words mac jr was trying to hold back he was like he doesn't think much of it he doesn't want to get involved in their relationship but he thinks that she's in a situation that she cannot control that the situation seems to be much bigger than her and she can't control it and she's like no i'm in control at least i'm in control of my own emotions that's the only thing i can do what else would i do about this there's not much i can do i'm actually you know, like i don't need to say much i don't need to say anything i just think that this is a really funny move like why would anybody do this you know obviously trying his best not to like um, talk down on his fellow guy but he was just like telling her indirectly like can't you just open your eyes and see what is happening and she keeps claiming that no i'm not in control i'm in control of my own emotions and he's like please don't let the game consume you in the name of playing the game you cannot just now be doing yourself a disservice and she's like oh she can't stop other people from playing their own game and it's like is this the real you is this your own game so you know for me um 
it was very obvious that mac jr they were all just trying to tell her stuff and of course mac jr will hold back at some point and she was like tacky what do you have to say and the same thing tacky just broke it down to her that listen we'll finish talking tomorrow you go and meet him again and you start talking to him like nothing happened like at some point you just have to break away from all of this mac jr was like even from the strike you got punished for this guy and you are still there he's she's like no it's not that she goes back he comes back begging even sometimes with tears in his eyes he comes back begging her that is the reason why she goes back and as sad as the situation may be you can just tell that jared doesn't really care and she on one hand for one reason or the other keeps holding on to something that doesn't make sense it doesn't serve her the guy keeps embarrassing her and the guy even told her she went to go and meet him again asking him questions like you told me to do me i'm not that kind of guy that you tell and as he said before he likes and pull me because he's taunt and pull me is taunt as well and both of them just have that in common and they have a great time and you that you are a gentle girl seemingly well not really gentle but at least not like on that in pull wild level why are you then involved in this thing that is not like it's even paying you the guy switches off and on and it just disgraces you left right and center but i guess Laima will be Laima. So that's it, guys. What do you think? What's your take on all of this drama? Why is Laima putting herself through all of this? One person that we know that is having a great time is definitely Mpumi. Mpumi does not really care about anyone. She's just having the time of her life. Like she said, if your man wants me, then that's on you. It's not on me. Like, talk to your man if you want to. But for me, I'm just going to keep having a great time. So, guys, that's it on yet another episode featuring Mpumi, Jared, and Laima, the triangle that never ends, the entanglement that never seems to end. So, what do you think? What do you guys think about this never ending saga? Do you feel sorry for Laima? Do you think she's doing it on purpose and it's part of her game and she doesn't mind being caught up in the triangle, anything just to play the game, to stay relevant? Because that's what she told Mac Jr. that she's just with him. She knows she doesn't care or anything. She's just with him as part of her game plan. Like, what do you guys really think? Because on one hand, you feel sorry for Laima. Like, nobody deserves to be treated like this. But on the other hand, you feel like, silly girl, why are you still with him? You need to let go. And I don't even know what to think about her, guys. What do you think about the Laima saga? Again, if you haven't subscribed, please kindly subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. But it's just sad that a gorgeous girl has to be going through this. There has to be a way out. Anyway, I'm hoping that with the conversation she had with Mac Jr. and Taki, things will play out differently but again she has gone to go and meet that boy again asking him questions because that's the problem she needs to stop with the questions and move on laima thanks for watching guys i'll see you in my next video